whether it's a glass of wine or cold beer or your favorite cocktail, there are plenty of ways to unwind after a long day. Well, besides for drinking, too. Sure. But what if the person making you that drink was unlike anything you've ever seen before? In this week's Technically Speaking Report, you and Signars introduces us to the artificial intelligence that is updating old school skills with a modern twist. Normally, you're used to getting drinks at the bar the old-fashioned way, with a real-life human putting his or her mixology skills on full display. But at FIU's Chaplin School of Hospitality and Tourism Management, as part of the Bacardi Center of Excellence, there's a new person pouring something tall and strong. Good morning, Gio, and the local 10 team. I'm Cecilia, FIU's robotic bartender. What would you like to drink? Meet Cecilia, the world's first interactive robot bartender, serving drinks with a dash of artificial intelligence. Cecilia comes from Israel-based company Cecilia.ai and has been used here at the university primarily as a teaching tool since 2021. In addition to communicating with customers and mixing drinks, Cecilia provides real-time analytics and data on an interactive dashboard, highlighting a multifaceted way of learning about the industry. How all of that really impacts and influences bar management, revenue management, and really just the bottom line of any establishment, all of that suddenly became very obvious and very relevant and important. David Febles, who comes from a family of hospitality workers, says the exposure to Cecilia was initially surprising and maybe a tad apprehensive. But with time, the benefits became much more clear. The biggest hurdle was getting used to the mechanisms and uh, making sure of how we clean her, how we maintain her, how we operate her. Cecilia is programmed to serve up to 17 different cocktail recipes, and she can make any of them as long as the ingredients are on hand. She can also speak up to 41 and a half different languages. That half language you're thinking about right now, it's Spanglish. Your cocktail is ready. Other abilities include being able to make two cocktails a minute, up to 120 an hour. She even makes jokes. Whether they're good jokes, that's up to the person listening to them. How does a computer get drunk? It takes a screenshot. <laughs> Cecilia also knows how to play with your emotions, saying this when prompted by a declaration of love for her talents. I'm sorry to let you down, but my heart belongs to Eric Yetzi. Heartbreak aside, Cecilia doesn't come cheap. We're told she costs between $55,000 and $65,000 outright, or can be leased for a monthly fee. At FIU, the price is worth it to teach a future generation about the innovation present in the hospitality business and what they can accomplish moving forward. It's beautiful to watch these students really uh, rack their brains trying to figure out uh, what can Cecilia do, you know, what, what can we do better for our industry and give back to our communities. Seeing AI's ability to integrate with a human team and be able to assist an industry so that it can be more guided towards hospitality and more guided towards the guest experience. My name is Cecilia. Whether it's AI or human, someone is proving it's always five o'clock somewhere. Cheers. Don't drink and go on air. It's a nice warning, right? The latest version of Cecilia 4.0 will include integration with ChatGPT, making her more situationally aware and allow for more dynamic conversations with her and users. The plan is for that to debut at the South Beach Food and, or Wine and Food Festival, I should say, in 2024. I love Cecilia. She's so, fantastic. Yes, she clearly loves <laughs> you too. Yeah. So there you go. What, what have you been doing on your downtime? Certainly not sitting here next to me. You've been visiting Cecilia. Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. Man. <laughs> Just lear learning a little mixology on the, on the side there. That bit. was it's fun. Really yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, she, and she didn't kiss up to you doing the story. She right. just said, I, mean, I, she, got, I got another man. She was respectful. She, respectful. she welcomed me and the local yeah. 10 News team. But, but she's, she's like, I yeah, ain't got, I ain't got time for you, Gio. a special connection. It was those joke skills. You know what I mean? Cecilia's I knew you would like that too. We coordinated on that. You know what I mean? Even before I realized that that prompt was waiting for, yes. for us, the, the jokes themselves, I already told myself, I was like, Eric's going to love these. Yeah, I did, I did, I did like that one. I write them down. I was I like, like oh, these one. are going in the story for sure. What? And then she hit me with that, and I dropped all my notes. Like, oh, well, you know what? It's actually genius, because one of the things I don't like about robots is that they're robots. So make them more uh, yes. joke-telling, well, human-like, dad joke central. That's why I'm looking forward. And they're forward, more inviting, right? Right, to that 4.0 version. We all know about ChatGPT and its abilities. That upgrade, you're right. It's I'm very interested to see where it goes and from she, there. And she knows she's got to win over the non-robot people. Sure. So she's right. like, one at a time. I got a good bar <laughs> joke for you, Cecilia. Past what is it? The, the past, the present, the future, walk into a bar. Uh -huh. It was tense. It was great. Ah. See, it's, it's perfect. It's Do perfect. It.